Hi, I'm Skylar. If you've got an Apple base station or router, there are a number of different varieties of it and the reset process is pretty much the same for all of them. The button looks the same, it's just a little white one on the back of the router, but I'm going to show you all of them so that you can get a good sense of how each of them works and the process of resetting them. Take a look at this page. This is support.apple.com slash kb slash ht3728. So first it answers, what is a reset? Well, there are three different kinds. There's a soft reset, a hard reset, and the factory default reset. So the soft reset just basically turns off the airport and turns it back on. A hard reset deletes user settings, but uh, retains the saved profiles. And then there's also the factory reset, which as you can imagine, gets rid of everything completely. So you would reset the router or airport um, if you had lost control of it somehow, uh, if you didn't have the password anymore, or um, the firmware had uh, gone all wonky, which has happened to me on a couple occasions. There are a number of reasons why you would do it. So down at the bottom, this last tab here, it says, where's the reset button? So let's take a look at all the generations of things. And you'll see what I said earlier, and it's this little button. On some of them, like uh, the older Airport Express, you have to use like a paper clip or a small uh, narrow object like that in order to get in there. The newer ones are a little bit easier to use. So for uh, different types of resets, uh, you have to hold the button down for various times. And these tabs right here tell you exactly how to do that because it's a little bit different for each model. So find your specific model and follow the directions exactly as it says. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.